हेलो एवरी वन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर सी द सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एंड क्लास सेवन सो फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज एंड द लेसन नेम इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड एडेप्टेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट वी आर सी द साइंस एक्सरसाइज फाइंड माई मैच ए ग्रुप फर्स्ट इज लोटस सेकेंड इज एलो थर्ड इज कसकटा फोर्थ इज वेनस फ्लाई ट्रैप B group flower and leaves attract insect B hostelia roots for absorb absorption of food C adaptation adapted to live in desert adapted to live in water so first answer is lotus adapted to live in water hello answer is adapted live in desert and cascata Answer is hostelia roots for absorptions of food and fourth Venus flytrap. Answer is flower and leaves attract insect. Read the paragraph and answer the following questions. I am a penguin. I live in polar region covered by snow. My abdomen is white. My skin is thick. with a layer of fat underneath my body is spinless shape my wings are small my toes are webbed we live in flocks why is my skin white and thick and my and why is there a thick layer of fat underneath so answer is penguin lives in extremely cold polar region the reason is always covered over with ice it has thick skin with a thick layer of fat underneath because it does not allow the body heat to escape out due to white color it can mix with the surrounding and cannot he easily located this way it seek protections against predictors why do we live in flocks sticking close to each other so answer is by staying in a flock one is protected against the attack from predator it become easier for parental care also by sticking to each other the body heat is not lost to the surrounding which geographical region do i inhabit and why so answer is penguins stay in polar region especially in the antarctic region there is abundant food available for the penguin and thus they are seen here which adaptation should you have to enable you live permanently in the polar region why in order to permanently inhabit in the polar region the body should be adapted to cold temp- temperatures there should be thick layer of fat and thick skin to protect the body the ability to regu- regulate body temperature should be extremely good for the survival a cockroach i have five legs cockroach is lying cockroach has six legs b hen my toes are web hen is lying its toes are not web c cactus my fleshy green part is a leaf cactus is lying its fleshy and green part is a stem four read each of the following statement write a paragraph about adaptation with reference to each statement there is extreme heat in desert so answer is 
the living organism residing in extreme heat of desert show appropriate adaptations in their structure of body and their life process process camel show many adaptations like modified legs eyes nose and hump on the back rats snakes spiders and lizards escape the heat of the sun by remaining inside deep burrows during daytime plants like different species of cacti have specially modified body structure with which they survive the extreme heat too grasslands are lush green the water avail availability is ample in grasslands therefore there is plenty of grass and shrubs the fibers roots of grasses hold the soil particles and prevent soil erosion in equatorial region there is lush green growth due to sunlight and abundance of water due to plant cover on all the sides grasslands look lush green see insect are found in large numbers so answer is insect adapt to any kind of habitat some insect can fly they have adaptations like light bodies two pair of wings which help them in flying some insect are also aquatic some stay near water bodies some are in desert too many have ability to camouflage with environment and thus they escape the attention of predators they can repro- reproduce in large numbers due to all such adaptations insect are found in large numbers d we hide some of those hide are weak organism in order to seek protection from enemies they hide in their habitat the colorations of their body mix with the surrounding and thus enemies do not see these hiding creatures some of them hide also for catching prey chameleon garden lizard can change color rapidly and become unnoticeable unnoticeable this helps them to catch their prey easily answer question number e we have long ears so answer is long ears are seen in herbivores they have to be alert from the attack of predator carnivore they can move their ears to locate the approaching prey in case of such danger they run away in a herd having long ears is an adaptation to escape from enemies a why is the camel called the sheep of the desert the skin of a camel is thick second is the leg are long with cushion soles third is there is a fold of skin for protection of nostrils fourth is the eyelashes are long and thick and thus they protect the eyes fifth fat is stored in its hump due to which it can survive for a long time without water six due to all such adaptation camel become most suitable to walk in desert thus it is used as a means of transport and is called sheep of the desert b 
how can the plants like cactus and acacia lie in desert with a scarce water so answer is cactus and acacia are plants that grow in desert they show adaptation to survive in the scarcity of water cactus does not have leaves leaves are modified into thorns therefore water is not lost by evaporation through leaves third is the stem takes up the function of photosynthesis and hence turns fleshy and green for this there is a thick lay- layer of waxy substance on the stems fifth is roots of these plants penetrate deep down into the soil in the search of water sixth is all such adaptations help the cactus and acacia to survive in desert with scarce water c is what is the interrelationship between adaptations of organism and their surrounding so answer is first adaptations are the changes that take place in the structure and functions of the body second is these modifications in various organs and life process help the organism to live feed reproduce and create new generation third is they also help in the protection of the organism against the predators fourth is depending upon the habitat and its geographical conditions the organism acquire correct response bending adaptation d how are organism classify so answer is first animals and plants are classify according to the their characteristics third is based on basic similarities and differences the organism are classify into groups and sub organ subgroups for this a heresy is from depending upon these features fifth is in this way the organism are place in the suitable group and classification is achieve if you are first time visit our channel then you subscribe my channel and also if you are like this video please like them and also share with our friends this video so see you again and thank you